Bones! Oh, I'm alright. Bring it on in, bring it on in, boys. All right, Mr. K. Here hey, we are. Was, that, was that you shooting out back, like we heard earlier? Shooting out back? Yeah, we heard some, no, no, some gunfire. Oh, hold wasn't on. Wasn't you? Oh. Uh, a security oh. risk is coming. What's that, Hal? I f <laughs> What? Huh? What, you call me? I said, yo, what's up? What's up, good, yo? I said, what's You're good, paying yo? someone to blow up my house? No. Don't lie. How you, how much are you pay, paying him? I'm not paying nobody. What are you 50k? Fuck, what are you is it for 50K? the fucking friends? No, bitch. I just this guy's singing friends? like a canary. This guy's singing like a canary. Wait, no, let John yep, go. Yep, yep, let God, let him go. He's a good guy. 50k, really? 50k. 100k. Tell him 100k. 100k. He's about to die. There's no, no, there's no need for on, no John, need to pay him anymore. He's, he's gonna die. Defend, he's gonna die. He's gonna his family. I what don't care. I'm killing him. Hey Solomon, you want a job to kill a fucking uh, organization? Uh, what? yeah, maybe. Who, who's the, who's the angels? They they kidnapped the hardworking. Uh, who the tow fuck are you talking? Who are you up? talking to? <laughs> Hold on, Claire. Hardworking to tow truck driver. I'm gonna. Okay. Pillow. You had an RPG I yesterday mean, with your own RPG. How does that make you feel, huh? Driver. That is that is the eternal. Yeah. You feel stupid now. You feel fucking stupid. Okay. Thank you. You feel like a dumb idiot. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me. Fuck you. Okay. Sorry about that. Friends of yours. Anyway, look, I have for you a completed assessment of your store's security in a beautiful presentation format, right? You you take a little look at that, mate. Everything should be very clear, but if you've got any questions, you let me know, right? I'm happy to answer any and all. Oh, my. All yeah, right, mate. you want to walk me through this bad boy? Yeah, absolutely, mate. Absolutely. So, first things first. Talk about these glass countertops, right? Now, we were talking about these when we first came round, when we did that little walk around with you. Now, our suggestion is currently the kind of glass you've got here is able to withstand a couple kilos of pressure, right? Now, as you, you, know, as you explained last time we were here, that this place, how much, you got, what, two million on jewelry on, on show at any time? Yeah, a couple of kilos of pressure, mate. That's that's not going to cut it. So we would strongly yeah. suggest you upgrade this to a new polycarbonate carbonite glass plex, which can withstand significantly more pressure per square inch in terms of kilos, and essentially means that if someone were to come in here, a smash and grab ain't going to happen, right? If, they, if, they, if they're going to try and get jewelry at one of these cases, they've got to come in here with some silly fucking hardware. Is it going to mean it can't be burgled? No, because nothing can't be burgled. But it will mean it stops like 90% of the basic level attempts that would otherwise be enabled by the current glass you've got in store. It's right? actually cheaper than what I currently have? Yeah, it's funny that, isn't it? Yeah, it is cheaper and yet also better. It's one of the great modern wonders of new materials, mate. It's all about cutting down costs but giving you a better overall product. Oh, I see, I see, indeed. Indeed, mate. And uh, following on from that, mate, we'll go on to the flooring. Right now, at the moment, you've just got a fairly, you know, standard floor. It's just a floor. It doesn't really do anything else other than be a floor. Now, our recommendation is that we pull up all of this floor here and distribute underneath it basically essentially pressure tiles. Now, what we do is we set those pressure tiles to certain pressure points, a certain weightage, whereby anything above that weightage at night when you're closed instantly triggers a silent alarm but the people in here wouldn't have a fucking clue that you knew someone was coming in and if you'd like it can be wired to the police and the police would know someone was coming in mm. they'd be in the middle of doing what they're doing and the next thing they know all the police forces out there or maybe you and your private security is out there either one beautiful in my, beautiful. In my opinion mate it is a must-have for somewhere like this where you've got so much money readily available you know Okay, so what have we got next? On, on from that, we've got this keypad over here. Now, I know at the moment it is a, well, at least when you demonstrated it to me, you've got a, a, a tongue system, right, for this particular keypad here, yeah? That's right. Right, and it's only staff members' DNA via tongue that is registered mm -hmm. to the keypad. You got to suck it, and then it'll tell you the DNA. Yeah, mm. yeah I, I mean, I'll be honest, mate. There's a lot of, of better it's ways good. of, of having a, a secured... You know, door access panel that doesn't require 
Whoa. Tonguing. I mean, the I mean, do you, told me do you, the do most you, amount of DNA is right in the back of the throat. So I usually have them go ahead and go ahead and suck that. No, but it's, it's also like the most amount of bacteria, though. You know what I mean? So if one of your staff were to have something and licks that to get downstairs, any other staff member trying to get downstairs, they're all going to cross contaminate, aren't they? Oh, fuck Equally, that. if someone wanted to get in here, all they've got to come and do is take a swab of that fucking keypad. They'd get the DNA they need. And then they'd be able to fucking replicate it with a fake, you know, synthetic tongue, and boom, they're in. Easy. Oh, Employees are gonna be real upset about this one. They really like sucking that friend. I guess we'll swap it out. Anyway, oh, I was just. This is the worst part about this. <laughs> See, it's the worst part. He says the worst part, Mister K, not boss, the best it's part. Terrible, man. See, it is terrible. Oh, yeah. you didn't enjoy deep throat, my friend. I thought everyone was into that. Dude, every I. I've been sick for literally weeks because of that fucking thing, man. Like, oh, every Jesus time Christ. you use it, you just get sick again. It's crazy. See? I never got sick. Anyway, I would suggest swapping <laughs> it out for a basic run-of-the-mill key fob system, mate. And then when the staff leave, you take the fob away, and then you haven't got to worry about rewriting the DNA coding for the keypad. Okay. All right. Bish bash bosh. Right, on to the next bit. We've got those lovely glass magnetic doors. Again, I would suggest mm. upping the quality of the glass, mate. I know it's bulletproof, but in this city, let's be honest, people have got things that are more than a Desert Eagle, don't oh, they? Oh, I've seen some cars come through here. Ex well, exactly. So we would suggest upgrading the material of the glass doors, same way as all the glass cabinets, and making sure that whether it's a car, a truck, or a fucking RPG, those doors are still stood there at the end of the day. A fucking man, brother. Mm-hmm. On to the next bit, mate. We're talking about the counters. Now, currently... Someone would have come in here waving a gun around at the staff. There's nothing to protect the staff. What we would suggest installing is a drop-down bulletproof perspex, essentially shield that would drop down from the ceiling, completely covering your staff and securing them at their till positions. So the tills are safe, the staff safe, and any jewelry you've got in those uh, display cases or shelves behind the staff, inaccessible, right? No one's going to get through that. Mm. Okay. And then last but not least... Currently, as far as I'm aware, you've got no override or silent alarm system for the staff to utilize. We would recommend installing under desk switches, which at any moment one of your staff could flick the switch. All the security um, procedure. Gun. Say that again. I, I mean, I have, I have a gun. No, no, I know you've got a gun. I'm talking about switch putting in a, a little a switch. I know, yeah, but if there's fucking six of them coming here with shotguns, what are you going to do with your one oh, gun? Yeah, right. Yeah, don't yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. So wouldn't you feel better? There's a little button under that desk you can press, and instantly all the security features are triggered all at once. Beep, 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 beep. Exactly. Who's reversing a car? That's a car. That's the alarm system. Oh, yeah, I thought that was yeah. someone reversing a car. Oh, yeah, the, anyway. yeah, yeah, there was one back there, back in that board. was? Okay, yeah, fair enough. Anyway, so that, that there's the full rundown of some of the changes we think would be in your interest to make to overall benefit and better your current security setup. I mean, oh, the, uh, I think this house you'll notice, a great time over here. Oh, uh, good. And you'll notice, we, we haven't mentioned the cameras, mate, because to be honest with you, you've got four cameras. They're 360 degree cameras, and you've got them in the best places. So there's no point... Your, your camera system's already fantastic. There's no point adjusting anything there. Perfect. You know, I was just telling my employees, yeah, I think the riots are coming. You know, economy's crashing. This place is going to be burning soon. We need the tip tops of gold. And insurance. Don't forget the insurance. Oh, insurance. Mate, you wouldn't believe, by the way, the amount of businesses in this city who do not have insurance. I don't think anybody no, does. Just, yeah. Mate, no, I was, I was speaking to the owners of Gold Rush. They ain't got insurance either. No, no, no. Nobody's got no insurance around here. Yeah, I mean, no, no insurance mate, companies. I mean, if um, I mean, were burglary to happen, you would be completely liable. Hmm. Scary thought, isn't it? Well, I mean, Scary uh, thought. You know, I guess there's some room for someone to open up an uh, insurance company. I mean, it would require an enormous amount of financial backing. Well, you know, there's investors but... like myself around. Well, it's funny you mention that because I am currently in the midst of doing paperwork for an insurance company. It's funny you say that. I, I currently have millions and millions of dollars I'm looking to invest. Wow. What What are the odds? Oh, stars align. What a coincidence, eh? Bizarre. Bizarre that. Tell you what, once we've finished with the paperwork and got our offices up and running, uh, I'll invite you along to a investor's pitch where I'll like, run through the business with you and you can get a good understanding of uh, of how it might benefit you as an investor. All right, I'll be looking for the phone call. Right. In the meantime, 
How are you feeling about the security breakdown we've done for you? Oh, I think this is fabulous. This is going to grant a great value to the state of security, and uh, I think it's going to help out a lot. Brilliant. Brilliant. Love it. If you want any follow ups or any additional service from us, please let us know. In the meantime, would you like me to send the invoice over to you or maybe a secretary or accountant or? Um, you know, we can take that, uh, get that taken care of right now. How much we look All right, mate. Uh, if you recall, the agreed amount was 50k for the security appraisal. All right. Let me just create an invoice here. What is your state ID, please, Mr. K? 1041. Is that 1041? That's right. That is a great number. Rolls off the tongue, that one does, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Unlike mine, which is, I don't even know what it fucking is. Right, let me include here a breakdown of why that is. Yeah, these dudes are good. <clears throat> and there you go, mate. That invoice should be with you now. All right, there you go, boss. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And like I said, please do get in touch if you've got any other concerns. Or if maybe you've got a special event or maybe a very luxurious item arriving and you would like some more, you know, on the on hand security. You know, my I am currently hiring. We're up to 12 trained professionals at the moment. All right. Sounds good, boss. All right, mate. I appreciate you. I won't take up any more of your time. I know you're a busy sausage. Wayne, lovely to meet you, mate. I hope you mm. don't get so real deep throat in the keypad, right? All right, you guys take care. You know, we all have it. Yeah, yeah, those guys are awesome. All right, so we got that. And yeah, if we, I, we should do like a, we should build a heist there and get those guys involved.